had enough time during our holiday breaks to catch up with each other's moms. I hold numerous great friendships and have called multiple girls a best friend. <laughs> but no one truly holds the title like Devin Cobb. She's everybody's favorite. Everyone in my family who's my favorite friend, Devin. All my college friends who's her favorite friend, Devin. So it's no wonder that I'm standing here tonight at her wedding with everyone else's favorite person, Kevin Collarin. This is easy. To know him is to love him. He's a prince and everyone knows it. I met Kevin the same night that Devin did in high school. We were freshmen and he was in the grade above us and on deck, everyone's gonna have a chance to meet Guy Briggs. He's very friendly and he was very friendly with us freshman girls. <laughs> became friends. <laughs> Devin and Kevin, they hit it off from the get-go, probably because their names rhyme. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm biased because my brother's a redhead, but I had a soft spot for Kevin from the get-go. And we hit it off too. But seriously, he was Devin's first real boyfriend. And because none of us girls ever really separated, he was kind of like all our first boyfriend. <laughs> and I sincerely thank you for not only taking care of Devin, but all of us girls. Mr. and Mrs. Collarin, you raised a hell of a son. <laughs> but really, I don't just like Kevin because he's a redhead or because he loves the New York Giants yes. <laughs> or because he was the first person to introduce me to Arthur Ave Italian food in the Bronx. <laughs> but because he's a man of sensitivity, sense of humor, and he absolutely adores my best friend. He always has, and he always will. The same look he has on his face tonight, I have seen for a decade. He gets a kick out of her, the same way I do, and the same way that we all do. The two of you are incredibly special. Everyone here says that you are, and we all know that you are. And I'm proud to call you both my best friend. <laughs> Lastly, I just wanna say that I was always told when you find the person you wanna spend the rest of your life with, that you not only love one another, but that you challenge each other and ultimately make each other a better person. So I'm standing here tonight in front of all of you to tell you firsthand, after 20 years of friendship with Devin and after 10 years of watching this love story unfold, when it comes to Devin and Kevin, mission accomplished. <laughs>